So good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well out there today. Welcome back to the channel. So today's just going to be another typical type of day. I need to get out here and get this money. I woke up early, uh, got my ass into the gym, got my workout in, took a nice shower, and I'm all freshened up. All right. So I'm going to do my deliveries here. Only I'm going to do things a little differently today. Today, I'm going to be doing my deliveries as you found me. Waldo. Let's get to work. If I had a dollar for every time one of you told me that I look like Waldo even without a costume, I'd be eating steak and lobster for a month straight. So I said, screw it. I'll just make it a reality. And here it is. Who's going to find me today? All right. So we're going to start the day here in Mickey D's. I'm going to go in here and get a coffee. All right, so we got our first offer with Uber Eats. $26 for under 10 miles. We're heading back to the same Walmart that we woke up in this morning. Hopefully this order goes through because sometimes these Walmart orders can be a little dodgy. We'll have to wait and see. All right, let's start the clock. See how long it takes these guys to get out here. I'll show you what I mean. Nope, not for me. Unfortunately, I didn't look at the number uh, ahead of time. I went to go get it, and I'm like, oh, it's 1809. We don't have that order. And you, you are Uber? Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, Uber gets all these orders from the previous day. No worries. We don't have it, so just cancel it out. All right, thanks. Sorry. As I expected, that's why I said Walmart is dodgy. I don't typically accept Walmart orders for this reason, but what are we gonna do? We wasted 20 minutes there. So let's move on with the day. That's a bit of a setback. Now, whoever did this is just wrong. And there's plenty of happy handicapped people out there in this world. All right, we just got another offer with Uber Eats. We're going to CVS to pick up one item. They're offering eight bucks for only 0.8 miles, man. This is walking distance. Let's go get it. All right, everybody, step aside. Puzzle book legend walking through. We're off to a slow start today. This guy went all out for Halloween. Look at this. <laughs> we got the coffin out here. This is incredible. Yeah, this house wins the prize. Also, being that it is candy season, two lucky customers today will be getting a treat. I got two bags of M&Ms that I'm gonna be handing out today. All right, we got one with Grubhub this time, $9. 1 1.7 miles, we're going to Mickey D's. All right, we got another order. It's a small order. It's at chick Fillet, and we're gonna do $6 for three miles. All right, this offer right here with DoorDash, $10 for eight miles, not the best but I notice it's bringing us right back into that busy area. I would have been driving in there anyways, so I'm gonna keep these orders coming in. Getting some reactions here from my customers. This DoorDash customer just said, I guess I found Waldo. So, you know, it's fun to make people laugh. I'm enjoying this. All right, so I just got myself a meal at Olive Garden. Not a bad deal on the lunch menu. I got a chicken parm with some pasta, some bread, and a salad, all for 13 bucks. Pretty good. So I'm just waiting on that, and then we'll sit in the back and eat. Okay, we got our meal. Let's see what we got in here. Got the chicken parmesan with the pasta. I got the angel hair pasta. Some croutons. Got a decent sized salad here. Look at the size of this thing. And I got some bread as well. It's looking like some good value. Got two of the rolls and these rolls are really good. Mm-hmm. Those are good. I said no black olives, but they went ahead and put them in there anyway. I can't stand black olives. There you go, birdies. Happy days.
Italian dressing. We're about to get it in here. A little midday feast. Ooh. All right. Shake what your mama gave you. Shake what your Mia mama gave you. Get it? Italian, so Mia, mama, mama Mia. I'll shut up and eat now. Still rocking the Waldo uniform. We are gonna follow through all day long until the end. Mm-hmm. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find my fork. For some reason, it has disappeared. So we're just gonna go ahead and use the plasticware. Alrighty, let's get into it. This fork's a little bent out of shape, but it'll do the trick. It'll do. Spice it up. Mm. That's good. I love these things. Whatever they are, they're peppers of some sort. What are you eating today? Are you eating with me? Do you want to pause the video and come back and eat with me? That would be a good idea. At this time, we'll take a brief pause so that you can take your tukus into that kitchen and get yourself something good to eat. Don't worry, we'll wait for you. Or not. I forgot to slap on my croutons. I gotta get my head in the game. There we go. Gotta get them croutons in there. I'm gonna take one more bite of this salad and set it aside. And then we're gonna get to our main course. We got our chicken parm here. This is a perfect size portion. Look at this. You looking at this? Look at that. Perfect size portion. A little close up shot of our chicken parm and angel hair pasta with the tomato sauce or pomodoro, I think they call it. Let's dig in. Chicken parm. It's there. It's tasty. It's one thing I've never figured out in my life, like how to perfect the uh, twirl. You know, there we go. That's not bad, right? We're gonna dip this bread in here a little bit. Because why not? That was a good idea. So today isn't the busiest day, uh, but it is three o'clock. I'm going to continue working after this. Uh, maybe it'll be busier tonight for dinner. We'll just have to wait and see. But I must say, it's a lot of fun doing my deliveries dressed up as a character, right? Because I've been getting a lot of positive interactions with people today, you know, just like laughter and uh, just good vibes. People driving up to me asking, you know, to take my picture and stuff. So it's a good feeling. I would consider dressing up and doing my deliveries any day of the year because it's fun. It doesn't have to be Halloween. And if you're watching this video on the day of the upload, it's Halloween. So happy Halloween to you out there.
All right, so I'm gonna finish my meal in peace here. And I uh, just wanted to show you what I was getting down with here. It's very tasty. And it uh, looks like I'm gonna be enjoying the rest of this meal. And then we'll get back to work. All right, we're back at it with Uber Eats. 13 bucks, seven miles, we're going to Burger King. I'm telling you right now, Johnny, this guy's been shit hot lately. Ron, he's a fire that can't be put out. All right, this customer is gonna get the second bag of M&Ms. <sighs> Gotta take care of my clients, you know? Let's move it. I took a little break there and I got this offer with DoorDash. $16 for six and a half miles. Six items at PetSmart. Jeez. Am I delivering to a dog or a dinosaur? Hmm, chicken feet in a bag. That's not weird. All right, we got the bones in the back and we're about to deliver to some lucky dogs. It's gotta be more than one dog. The size of those bones. Mammoth bones, deer, antler, chicken feet. My goodness. These dogs must have saved a baby from a pack of rabid coyotes. All right, so I just got this offer with Uber Eats, but I didn't get the screenshot. It is $16 for, I believe it was six miles, which is a great offer. Two pickups. We're going to Chick-fil-A, then Smashburger. Let's go get this money. You like your burger smashed? Come in to smash burger. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop now. You've got to be kidding me. I'm doing this first drop off in the same plaza. All right, so I just left Smash Burger over there and I'm doing my delivery to Bonsai Nail Bar. Hi. Good boy. Thanks. How are you? Awesome day. All right, I just handed that one off. On to the next. All right, so just as I was about to leave with that order, DoorDash adds another one on top of it, $7.50 for only 3.9 miles. Same restaurant, let's scoop it up. All right, bit of a score here.
really nice elevator. Luxurious. Hi. Hi. Are you Rosemary? I am. All right, excellent. There you go. Thank you so much. Have a great night. You too. I like your hat. Thank you. We'll just place these happy little cookies right here. Enjoy. All right, guys. We got our last order of the night here at Wendy's. $9 for under two miles. I'll take it. All right, so we'll drop this order off and then we're going to call it a night. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna retire Waldo right now. Waldo, thank you so much for bringing so much joy into people's lives today. And uh, it's been an honor. It's been an honor representing you. And I hope your book sales soar after many, many people watch this video. There we go. Let's head home. So it's a chilly night, 41 degrees, not too bad, but it's getting colder. All right, let's get these contact lenses out. I don't really like wearing contact lenses. They irritate my eyes. I'm quite happy wearing glasses, although I do need to get a new pair of glasses soon. I've just been procrastinating. Pinch. Pinch. Those are out. Just slip those right there for now. Much better. So we're in the lounge and uh, it's feeling good in here. It's nice and toasty for now until I jump back into my mummy bag. But today was a good day for four specific reasons and I'm gonna break them down for you. Uh, for one, I woke up nice and early, uh, went to the gym and got a good workout in. Uh, number two, I not only hit my $150 goal, but I surpassed it. And in the process, I was able to bring some joy to people today, dressed as Waldo, you know? People got a few laughs out of that, and I got a kick out of it too, so it, it was fun for me. Win-win situation there. Number three, those M&Ms that I gave out today, I bought for myself. And when I woke up this morning, I said, you know what, I'm not gonna eat these M&Ms because I've been struggling with sugar lately. Not gonna lie, I've been leaning on it, you know, using it as a comfort, 
uh, food type thing. You know, we, we all have our comforts that, that we turn to, our vices, I guess you could say. I just realized that I gotta cut that shit out. It's the candy, the soda, the pastries and the donuts. I gotta stop with that, right? So I set out to not eat those M&Ms today and I achieved that. I, I handed them out. So I'm pleased about that. And I know that I'm still gonna be eating sugar, right? So fruits, I had bread and pasta today, which I know turns into sugar eventually, but I'm just gonna try, right, to get rid of these certain foods and uh, take it from there. And number four, the big one, no booze today. Coming up on 100 days, back in the triple digits. So um, I'm pretty stoked about that but I always have to keep my guard up, all right? So, overall a good day. Also, I wanna talk about this. I bought myself a coloring book and some coloring pencils. And I know it might seem a little strange. What's this nearly 40 year old man doing buying a kid's coloring book? Um, so, I had been talking about um, ruminating thoughts lately. Sometimes I get into this rut where I just can't stop thinking about things. And my brain just splits off in like five different directions. And a friend of mine told me that, um, you know, I should try focusing on like puzzles or crosswords or something like that. And I'm not a big fan of crosswords, but it made me think. And I thought back to my childhood, what's something that I used to love doing as a kid was it's coloring. And I remember back in the day, I would, I would get in the zone when I was coloring. So I haven't started coloring yet, but I might just start tonight and do a little bit of coloring. All right, so would you like to join me? Let's jump into the page. So I haven't done this in quite some time and I'm sure that my coloring skills are a little rusty, you know, but uh, we're gonna start. Ah, that'll help. Where's the brown at? There we go, right at the end. Where should I begin? I think I'll start with the headband. What are you thinking? So yeah, the idea here is to just calm my mind a little bit and um, provide a healthy distraction. so that I'm focusing on the coloring. And I only want to focus on the coloring. And what better coloring book than a Ninja Turtle coloring book, right? And starting off with my favorite Ninja Turtle, Leo. Aw, oh, Bren, you're slipping out of the lines a little bit. Who cares? It doesn't have to be perfect. So that's gonna be silver. L's gonna be yellow. The belt's gonna be black, actually, not brown. Just using this guy as a reference. Okay, that's all the blue. Uh, we're gonna do the belt next. I need black. Where's black? Is there any black? Don't tell me there's no black up in here, man. That's black. All right. So we're going to get this belt done. Got some gray for the 
katana blades. Now my favorite part, the green. And I remember that. This is exactly how I used to color it as a kid because green was my favorite part to color, you know. It's the home stretch. And just like that, we have colored in Leonardo. Didn't take too long. I definitely need to tighten it up a little bit, but that was a good exercise, you know? I enjoyed doing that. Oh, I forgot this, the belt buckle. We will just hit that with a bit of the gray and he will be done. Boom. Finito. Definitely a little sloppy, but it's all good. I enjoyed that. All right, so that's going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys for coming along with me. As always, I'll see you on the next one.